So your character obviously became a pretty fanatical uh, last we saw him. Uh, is it safe to say that he's still on that path? He's still a true believer? Yes, he is certainly on that path. And uh, the interesting thing I hope you'll see about season six is the way that he starts to explore that. And the way that he starts to really, for the first time, I think, in Game of Thrones, he's really of his own. He's empowered by himself. He's got his own full, fulfilled, focused sense of identity. I don't think there was, I think at the start of season five, there was a sense as a sparrow that he's kind of still sort of discovering his religion, still kind of discovering his piety, and is slightly euphoric by having fully discovered it. And now in season six, you're going to see fully who he has become, and I'm, I'm excited for people to see that. So it seems, to, it seems to be, suffice to say, that the family ties don't mean anything to him at this point. Can anything change that, or it's just, nope, sorry? Well, I mean, the thing is, the family ties, you know, Lancel, Lancel, Lancel adheres to a religious dogma, and, you know, he's not as though, you know, Lancel, it would be very difficult for Lancel to legitimately get, have any credibility and try to kill any member of his family, because that would be, that would be, that would be kinslaying, I guess, be killing a member of your family, which is a no-go in, in the faith. So, it's a complicated situation for Lancel, you know, he has a father who we seem to believe he doesn't really have that much of a relationship with, but whether or not there is any history of a connection with him from before he became a member of the Faith Militant, we don't know. So it's complicated with Lancel and his family. It's a, it's a complicated situation.